this video, I'm going to show you how to record videos from your car while you're driving legally and safely. Not like this with a dodgy phone in your hand. Hi, welcome to Creator Answers. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to safely record video in your car and not die. So something I record on Cutting the Caboose regularly are videos from my car. And I often get comments from people saying, A, you shouldn't be recording and driving, it's dangerous. And B, how do you do that? A lot of people record from their car like this. They'll hold their phone down here somewhere or here when they're driving. It's wobbly, the sound is bad. And frankly, it's illegal and dangerous. Do not do this when you're driving. Now I'm currently sitting in my car, it's stationary and I'm not moving and the ignition is not running. So I'm not breaking the law. But people do this a lot and you've often, you've seen these videos, right? You know when the camera is down here because they're holding it out of sight and they're hoping nobody sees them and they're driving with one hand. Do not do this. It's not worth killing somebody or injuring yourself just to record your video, okay? I know car videos are cool, but it's, it's not, don't do this. However, there are ways you can do it perfectly legally, absolutely safely, and it's no different to chatting to your friend in the car. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The first thing you want uh, is a windscreen mount for your camera. I have one you can see it's on suction caps right over here this is a professional mobile camera mount you can put dslrs video cameras anything with a camera mount will fit on there you can see it's on securely it's out of reach i cannot touch that that's by design this must be out of your field of vision as you can see from when i'm sitting it's behind the pillar so it does not obstruct your view in any way and for a basic setup that's all you need now if you want to go a little more advanced you want to put a microphone up here to record your voice and then either use your phone or what i do is a Zoom H1 field recorder on a little rubber mat sitting on the dashboard, which means that it won't slip and slide anywhere when you're driving. Again, safety first, guys. And then I've got a couple of GoPros, again, out of my field of vision. This one points forwards to show what happens ahead of the vehicle. And this one is pointing in wide 4K resolution, filming me, which can be cropped to put all this together. And I'm recording this right now on my phone. So let's kick all this off and I'll show you what the results look like once we get underway. So the first thing you want to do, turn on the sound, start your GoPros, start your main camera and start recording the sound. Now I've got an easy way to sync your sound here and I'm going to switch over to the main camera now. Now your video editing software will allow you to sync your sound automatically. If you don't have software that does this for you, then I recommend the three clap method. At the start of your recording, you clap three times and that'll record spikes in your audio track, which are then very easy to synchronize all your camera's sound tracks together. It's also a good idea to have something white in the car with you. Hold this up to your face, and you'll see me repeat this a lot. This gives you your white balance reference, which you can use with your eyedropper tool in your video editing software, and boom, you've now got your sound reference, you've got your white balance reference, and you can start recording just like this. Now, another tip. If you have a sunroof, check your light and see if you need to have your sunroof open or closed. Today it's a lovely bright day. I'm keeping the sunroof open because I have the sunscreen open because I got plenty of light in the car and that's great. On some days you may want to close that depending on the situation that you're in, but keep that in mind the amount of ambient light you're bringing into the car. And then we start driving. Now again, safety first. So you, as always, you want to keep your cameras out of sight. So you can see I can't actually reach any of my cameras. So I'm not tempted to adjust them while I'm driving. You want to lock them off, set them to record before you start your car, and then you're safe. Now, when you're filming, be mindful of the fact, and this, this is where it potentially can be dangerous, do not record long monologues into your camera. Glance at your camera as if you were chatting to a friend, that's fine, but do not sit there staring at your camera and not looking at the road. That's dangerous. Same with your front camera. And for variety, you can look at the front camera, glance to the side camera, but you're basically just doing glances. Now you will probably find that once you've started doing this, it will become natural. It'll just become the way that you, you drive because you're chatting. You aren't performing a long monologue, but you've got to, got to, got to keep your attention on the road ahead. It shouldn't be a problem. The camera's out of sight. You're just talking. Forget the cameras are even there, basically. Some settings which are important for your camera. Because you're going to be going in and out of dark and light and shade, and it can be 
There's gonna be sun coming from different angles. I leave all my cameras on full auto for pretty much everything. You want automatic exposure, automatic white balance, well, everything. Because you, as you drive, everything is going to change constantly. So it's such a difficult job to do this by hand in your editing software. Just leave everything on auto. You also want to make sure that you've got image stabilization turned on. Your cameras are going to be bouncing around, they're going to be moving, they're going to be changing. Potholes, bumps are going to happen. And you can see right here, I've got optical stabilization on this camera and the two GoPros are running with digital image stabilization. And yet, when you're watching the video, you'll find it's very, very smooth. There'll be a little bit of movement in the side camera because it is on a boom on a suction mount. And so that will move slightly. But you know what? It's expected and it doesn't look unusual. It just adds to the whole, well, you can see for yourself right now as you're watching it, it just adds to how it adds motion to the video. It, it makes it look more real. I've used the five stage image stabilizer in the car before. And honestly, it looks unnatural. It looks too stable. It's a little bit weird, I'll be honest with you. And that's it. In another video, I will show you how to edit all this together when you're running multiple cameras, but that's a different subject. That comes into the editing series. This is just how to record your footage. You put them into your favorite editor, you sync the sound, and you drop the clips back and forth as you want. And it's as simple as that. Now, something that you will find tricky is you can't script a show from your car unless you're very, very good at remembering your lines because you can't read a script when you're driving. So this, the car ones are going to be quite chatty. You're going to be just covering some topics from memory. Don't try and read a script. Again, you're just going to crash, find yourself upside down in a ditch, on fire, and possibly dead. So don't try and do that. And that's it. I hope this was useful to you. Thank you for watching. As always, please comment, like, share, subscribe, dislike. It's all good. Love to hear from you. And that's it for this episode of Creator Answers. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.